all this fish didn't come from the ocean. It was grown in a lab. Cultivated meat isn't fake meat like plant-based protein. It's real meat. The difference is that it's been grown from cells in a lab and not in the actual animal. It's basically just what nature does, just uh, growing the cells and we're just giving them the ingredients to, to actually grow in a healthy way. This isn't the stuff of science fiction anymore. The tech is now being used to produce all kinds of seafood. That could help alleviate environmental issues like the depletion of fish stocks, health issues linked to fish like microplastics and mercury, and also animal welfare concerns. But it's not yet in the supermarket. We don't know when it will be available. And the availability of it in small amounts might come soon, but the availability in every supermarket in the United States is quite a ways away. Still, the sector's growing. Funding for cultivated seafood companies hit $115 million in 2021. While that's still small compared with the $1.3 billion that went into cell-based meat overall last year, it's double the level of funding cultivated seafood received in 2020. Companies are producing everything from fish fillets to eels, crab and lobster. When I come across this idea that we can actually make meat without involving animals, so uh, a lot more sustainable, no animal cruelty, as well as uh, you know, cleaner with less pollutants in the product, then that was okay. I, I couldn't find another reason not to actually start working on this idea. Avant Meats has produced the world's first cultivated fish maw or swim bladder. It's an Asian delicacy traditionally eaten in soup. We know Asia consume over 60% of the world's uh, seafood. So we want to create a product that will emotionally connect with the consumer in this part of the world. Over in Europe, Blue Seafood is the first company to produce market-ready cultivated fish. It plans to launch in Singapore by the end of 2023. There has been more than a decade of work going into this from my co-founder, Sebastian, and uh, he has been developing a couple of hundred uh, cell lines from fish species. We do focus on three cell lines at the moment, which is Atlantic Salmon, its child, and its car basically um, have your cells to feed them with a very nutritious drink and then the, the cells proliferate. Singapore is the first and only nation in the world that currently allows the commercial sale of cultivated meat. It's not an easy road ahead for the industry. I would list three main challenges for the cultivated seafood industry right off the bat. The first one is going to be the regulatory approval in the U.S. That means the FDA. We've been hearing that the approval for these cultivated meat products is going to come any day now for quite some time. We also are going to need to hear more from the companies about the processes used to make these products. Consumer trust is a really important and major challenge that they will have to overcome. And third, they are going to need to provide really clear evidence that this is better for the environment, that the energy that is necessary to make these products is not more than is used to raise or catch fish in the more conventional methods. I think cultivated meat technology will be kind of like any other um, uh, new technology. It will take some time for the general public to accept it, kind of like uh, the electric car or, or smartphone. So, is this the future of seafood? Probably part of the future, but I don't think that this is ever going to be the majority of seafood, or certainly not in our lifetime. The way we created meat and fish uh, until now has been the way we did it for the last thousands of years. It is urgent to, to change that. And I think we have the tools to know how to change it and create a more sustainable way. And uh, I do believe that this is the future of food. Thank you.